Hey, what's up guys, it's G, and today I'm here to review my new 63-inch desk from Tribe Signs. Let's get into it. Okay, so I picked up this 63-inch desk from Amazon. I needed an extra desk and I needed a bigger desk because I wanted to do a couple of new things, get a couple of new things for this space right here. And I definitely figured to myself that I wanted a nice desk. And at first I was looking into buying one of those electric desks that, you know, the stand up desks. And then I said, hey, maybe I could get more bang for my buck if I get two desks because I'm going to probably have to get up and work out anyway. I don't sit at my desk for long periods of time, so it's not really a big deal for me having a sit down desk. But I do want an electronic stand up desk, but this desk is beautiful. It's 63 inches by almost 24 inches in depth this way. It's metal construction, hollow metal construction, but it doesn't feel flimsy. Although when I do move this on the carpet, it's like uh, you have to pick it up. It's a very light design, light construction. It wasn't that much on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. I wanted you guys to see this because I know a lot of people is going to probably be buying this for home offices. And I wanted to give you, you my opinion on it. Now, I have first set it up as my main desk, right? Bought a couple of new things, monitor, some studio monitors and stuff like that. And I set it up as my main desk. But even when I purchased it, I thought to myself that this would be uh, stand in until I get my main desk which would probably be one of the electronic desks but we getting ready to move soon so it didn't make sense for me to buy a new desk just yet because I don't know exactly what kind of space I'm gonna have so with this desk from Tribe Signs like I said it's 63 inches long like in width when you're sitting at it wide and then the depth of it this way from this way to this way is like two feet so for me it's perfect to use for like if you got a little laptop set up with a keyboard and stuff but for what I have I needed something a little bit bigger because the studio monitors I chose to go with were um, seven inch monitors Yamaha's studio monitors so that it felt like the, the studio monitors was too close to my ears. So I need a desk with a little bit more depth this way. So I could be a little bit back away from my monitor, which is a 32 inch monitor. I'm going to do reviews on those, on those things soon. And uh, I'll have all of this stuff set up soon. But I wanted you guys to see this desk. It was an easy setup. The legs come in the box like they are. There's nothing really to do. All you have to do is put on this bar in the bottom and, and put the legs to the, to the uh, top. The top is already pre-assembled with the underpiece. You don't have to screw nothing to the top except for the legs. And um, as far as quality goes, now let's get into quality. All right, now I put this desk up good. It looks beautiful. And this is like a, the teak and black option. It looks beautiful. I put the desk up well. And it doesn't shake very much. Right now I'm shaking it with a lot of force. I don't know if you guys could tell. I'm shaking it with a lot of force. And um, it's not shaking very much. So it's a pretty sturdy desk. I had those big speakers on it. Although I had studio cushions under it. The desk wasn't shaking at all or never felt flimsy. So let me just show you guys under the bottom right quick. So this is how it looks under the desk, right? 
there's no carriage or anything special under there um all this under there and this you see those in the corner back there the allen screws those right there those are allen screws all you need to do is put the legs on that and then put the bottom bar on and you're done easy setup nice sturdy desk okay so what do i think about this desk now i'm going to tell you if you need a desk and you want a desk that's not too expensive and you need a very long desk like this desk and you want it to look professional you can't go wrong with this desk i think i paid 165 for it 175 i'm not sure um but i will leave a link in the description and it was worth every dollar because even though I'm not going to use it as my main desk because I need a little bit more depth this way for a desk, I'm still able to use this desk for plenty of things. And I'm going to use it for plenty of things. It's easy to clean. I clean it off with a, a, a microfiber cloth and some water. That's all. And it comes off easy. This is not real wood. This is not real wood. Right? And when I got it, if you guys could see the edges, the edges were like this, white. Like a little bit white, like the like the wood had been scraped. But it was, it's not damaged. That's just because it's not real wood. Now, you see right here in the corner? It was like some type of poking out thing. Like it's like, I don't know, paper or plastic, whatever they put on top of there to make it look like wood. It's just like poking out. It's a little sharp there. A little bit sharp right there. But when I put my computer monitor on there and set it up as a desk with my keyboard and everything, it looked beautiful. I will show you guys a picture, but I took it down because now this is not going to be my main desk. I need a bigger desk. But for the average person, is this is a definitely a good desk. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I would recommend this desk. I would give this desk about an eight and a half out of a ten. Now, the reason why I'm going to say 8.5 out of a 10 for what it is now, because there's other desks that can make this desk look like a 3. But for what it is, this is an 8.5 out of 10 because what they went for. Now, they went for a nice, cheap, expensive looking desk. And they, they definitely delivered on that. Right? This desk looks very expensive. And it's sturdy, which makes it even better because when you come into this price range, you, you get one or the other. You don't get both. You don't get a really expensive looking desk that is sturdy. So this desk is metal construction. Now, since I had it, have I dropped things on it? Yes, I've dropped things on it. I told you guys it's been my main desk. I had it for maybe a month now. And I just now, yesterday or so, yesterday or the day before, I took the stuff off of it now it's been my main desk it had a monitor here speakers there so there's no scratches on the desk at all i've dropped stuff on it but not nothing too crazy i was being protective of the desk trying to be protective of it um but it's not easily scratchable i don't get the feeling of that i got a, a wood frame bed upstairs a mahogany wood frame bed that's real wood and it scratches easy this is not easy to scratch you can like run your nails across it and stuff it's not going to scratch but i wouldn't you know put anything hard on it like to try to scratch it test it or whatever you want you see these edges this is like some type of veneer i don't know what you want to call it but whatever that stuff is it's on there really good and it's really a good quality table it's better than the other tables that I was using that cost about fifty dollars and Costco's the fold-up tables you know that this is definitely worth the purchase so if you guys want a better desk and you want to get away from them ugly fold-up tables then this is your purchase to start 
If you don't want to spend three, four hundred dollars, maybe six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, like I'm looking at on a desk, then this is perfect. This desk was under two hundred dollars, and I think it is well worth it. I think it'll last a long time, barring you take care of it. So it gets an eight and a half out of a ten for desks for me. Now, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. It's G from Print Zebra. I'll be back with some more pretty soon. Peace.